What's up guys, Kayla here. Welcome back to another game on the Gwenology account. This time we're up against Graves. Graves should be on screen now and I wanted to get a jungle vid out for you guys and it also helped that the queue times were abysmally long for uh, top and mid to uh, the night I played this. So you guys got lucky. I haven't been enjoying Gwen Jungle as much ever since the first strike changes. We're going to hit the blast cone there to get one uh, Q stack. Just do auto Q and then start beating down the wolves. Um, but ever since first strike was changed to a more early game lane bully rune, I just haven't been enjoying this pick as much. So I've been trying to s stray away from it. Just going to hit the wolves there, get our level two board towards Raptors red to Krugs. But, um, it's really not as fun to play this role. Um, that's why I have Dark Harvest this game. If you play Junk Gwen Jungle consistently, I say go Conqueror. But for those that have watched me over the past few months or so, I literally just can't make Conqueror work in the jungle. I don't know why. I know you get about a Blasting Wand worth of AP at 12 stacks. I know that it heals a little bit. I've never really notice the healing all that much but it's just it doesn't feel good and i don't know why but real quick we're just gonna hit the crux here the reason i started wolves this game was because i was a little worried about a potential graves invade against things like shakos uh kha'zix uh rengar can sometimes invade you i think but you just really want to avoid early game invades from the enemy and the way you do that is just kind of desync your timings with the opponent. So this game, Graves started red and we started wolves. So that way we are technically behind in CS right now. But we're going to beat him down here and we're going to beat him to completing my red buff before he could actually get there. I end up looking just to see if we could potentially get a... What's it called? A... Uh, counter gink off on the graves but he does not bite for down there my yasuo somehow ends up dying in the uh 1v1 against a ghost of vladimir he doesn't even have ignite this game but right here you can definitely see my uh what's it called my rust i should be going for scuttle crab right here because we do know that graves started red like we 100 percent know that I know it didn't show at the start of the game, but he went and warded my blue buff, and I used a red trinket for Pantheon to last hit it and get level 2 off for 6 minions. That's why you guys saw I had 65 gold at the start of the video instead of 50, because I don't like health potions. I I would rather accelerate my money to that very first item. Speaking of items, we end up picking up Dark Seal and a Control Ward. My idea this game is to try to shut down any potential scaling the enemy team might have. And the Vladimir is not the worst thing in the world for Gwen specifically. It's bad for my team. It's not bad for me. But that Nyla Brom combo is very, very dire for Gwen. Uh, Brom disables your needle hits on multiple enemies. And Nyla just turns off auto attacks on whichever champion she chooses for herself and her teammates. So right here, I also go and check the Scuttle Crab. I know that Scuttle Crab is down. It's just the rust of me playing jungle, like the lack of me playing jungle just is really showing. I know what camps are up. I know what camps are down, and I'm just kind of like autopiloting. That being said, though, I'm a little hesitant because I... Have been uh, rocky from the very start of this game clear wise i knew that this bot scuttle was taken because we saw graves bot side earlier but meaning that the top side scuttle was up so you guys see that on the river right there i could have taken that so so much earlier and gotten a camp advantage or at least evened it out but right here i'm just gonna end up picking up the dragon and this hurts their scaling just a little bit it's not gonna directly impacted that much but anything to get them away from another win con all right and then here we're gonna pick up the krugs Onward. 
end up Wing there just to preserve my HP because we could potentially look a bot lane here. Just pan my camera, my vein's gone, my Nautilus is low, so don't really see much use of going down now. And then for those that have been uh, frequenting my streams, I've been trying to get more Aurora games, but oh my god, PBE is impossible to find games. I made a tweet where it was like a 40 minute queue time for me. And I just couldn't get into any lobby, so my only hope are through custom games. Um, if anyone ever wants to assist me on trying to find PBE games, I'm going to be live uh, a few days this week. I'll even throw my schedule up uh, right here on screen because I'm making it right after this video. So if you guys ever want to try to help me get a five stack for PVE so I can get some more Aurora games out for you guys, that'd be great because I really love the champion. I think I'm going to love her just as much as, as Gwen and uh, probably not play her as much because I feel like she's much more uh, comp dependent than uh, Gwen is. Right there, Nautilus is going to pick up the kill. I should have gone there as well uh, for the Dark Harvest stack and the Ultimate Hunter stack and the Eyeball. I just really wasn't thinking right there. I was look thinking about Grubs. I want all three of them. I don't want Graves to get a single one. Here, my Yasuo's going to unfortunately die again, and I just don't know how he fell so far behind in a lane like this. Vladimir, very, very strong champion on the patch that I post this, but... He's, he ain't that strong right now, right? Like, I believe he had Doron's Ring Sork Shoes, which aren't even the correct boots you go on, Vladimir. You go Ionian for more Q uptime. And your Ghost and Flash are very important on that champion. But here, we're just going to clear the Raptors out. Go to our red. Very good start for... Us, to be honest. I'm still really, really worried about the Nyla timer. And top lane is in a pretty dire situation. The matchup is really unwinnable for Pantheon. I've played this matchup on both sides, being the Malphite and the Pantheon, and just the Pantheon player cannot do a thing. And as much as I would love to help him, it's just Pantheon can't nickel and dime Malphite enough for me to warn going up there, because it will never result in a kill. So I'm just kind of leaving him on an island and just hoping that he can uh, survive up there. We're going to clear out our blue section of the camps and work towards the Nashers. Right now, my thought process is, okay, we've denied one dragon. Now I just want to play for six Void Grubs, and then I can potentially play for uh, side laning in mid game. We know Graves is around bot side, so as you see there. I think about maybe taking Raptor camp, but unfortunately he already did all his camps before pathing down. Again, I'm very rusty on jungle. I should know that all those camps are done. Try going for the Vladimir. Does not work out, but here is just the most beautiful timing in the world. Nautilus picks up Graves. I pick up Nyla Braum. And at that point, it's just jungle diff. Like, I've been playing so poorly, but I was just rewarded for that one time I came down there at the same time as Graves. Not even the same time. I was pretty late to that fight, but it just extended so long because my Nautilus had them between the towers and he just baited himself to uh, thankfully give us all the kills. But here, Nashra's six stack Dark Seal. I'm going to buy another control ward just for guaranteed safety on the Void Grubs or the Dragon, whichever I prefer. Yeah, my mind is set on the Grubs right now because if they get one Dragon and we already have one, that delays the soul point by five minutes, roughly. And that's just such a long time in a game like League. Like, a, a three-second Morgana Snare, that's years. So imagine five minutes worth of wait time for them. I consider going to help my team maybe look for a pick when they are starting the dragon, but my Yasuo just decides to run down river when we know they're all there. Um, so that tells me, okay, we're going for Gromps. 
I'm going to place the control ward there. I see the timer is 15 seconds from being up, but because I scrying orbs this area earlier, that tells me that raptors and krugs are up. So I figure why not get raptors right before I do the krugs because look how fast I clear right now. I'm just so accelerated in this game that I'm just one-shotting whatever I touch. The control ward also stalls the Vladimir for a bit. He sees the money and he takes it. Thankfully that stalls just long enough for my Nautilus to show up. And then my Malphite, or sorry, not my Malphite, my Pantheon, Nautilus, Yasuo, all just distracting them while I secure these grubs. <clears throat> and that's all six. Now that's not game winning by any means, but like that is exactly what I wanted to happen this game. I try to go for a fight here. Do not have a lot of damage against the Malphite just yet. Even though he's full armor, I just can't break that champion just yet. And then, yeah, like I said earlier, I went Dark Harvest just because I really can't win on Conqueror. I don't know what it is. I've tracked my win rate on Conqueror and Jungle, and it's like a 20% win rate over all of my Gwen games. So, if you're norm a normal person, go Conqueror in this situation. Uh, unfortunately for me, I guess I'm not normal. I have to go something wacky. Alright, I see a dive opportunity down here. They see me on a ward, so Nyla just thinks, okay, we gotta press the go button, get what we can. It was actually pretty smart of her. I unfortunately die here, but I'm not upset about it. Uh, we do lose some Dark Seal stacks, but the fact that it went to Braum and not Nyla is massive. Here I'm just looking at what to potentially buy. I think for Sorks for a moment, but then I'm like, no, Ionian for circumventing the Ghost to nerf is just super, super nice. And then at this point, with Ionian Boots with Nasher's Tooth, I don't think I ever hover it. But my cooldown is like 84 seconds or something. So I have a rank 2 ultimate at rank 1. Which is just insane. Because Gwen in teamfights is a super ult-reliant character. It's very noticeable when a Gwen has ult and when she does not in teamfights. Unfortunately, Yasuo going down again. But yeah, the Vladimir getting out of hand is thankfully not the worst thing in the world for me. The Nyla getting out of hand, that's what I feared the most. So Vladimir being strong is not a huge deal for me. Lots of healing from the Vlad. None of us have heal cut. Pantheon picks up the shutdown, which is awesome. And then this is why we always try to go for six Void Grubs. Their mid laner is dead. Their jungler is clearing, I don't know, maybe red buff or Krugs at this moment. And I'm just dunking this tower. It's already gone. And at that point, I'm just going to go back to my camps. Normally, I would steal the whole wave, but I'm not trying to tilt this Yasuo. He's 0 6 and 1. We can win this game easily so long as he stays in the game. So it's in my best interest to give him the CS, even though it's better on me. And then just to look at that Malphite on the enemy team, 4-0-1, I believe it had a 300 gold bounty, just super strong. Like I said, there's no way for Pantheon to nickel and dime Malphite, so I can't really assist him unless the Malphite really, really messes up. I want to try to go for a pick here before Vladimir shows up. Malphite ults us, and I think, okay, that's good enough, let's go. My Panth unfortunately gets caught out, but my beautiful bot lane, just finding the perfect engage here. Like, this Nautilus was a hero, this game. Nice little Dark Harvest proc there. Get the kill. Pick up another. Stack the Dark Harvest. My Vayne finishes the Malphite, gets the shutdown. And at this point, I'm thinking the game is over. We just need to make sure this Nyla does not get to four items, because at four items, Gwen really just can't deal with her. 
it, it's just not possible due to her having a shield bow usually. Um, a lot of the time it's with an enchanter, but Braum is just as threatening because of his passive. Just guaranteed CC after four auto attacks. And then we see the dragon spawning. The enemy team will immediately think, okay, that's where we're going next. We can try to catch them. They have a lot of money in their pocket. I think, nope. Let's go top for the tier two. I don't even know what the Braum was doing there, to be honest. Um, like, there's no reason Braum should be top. Malphite? Sure. Braum? No way. We're going to end up crashing this here. And I really, really want the plate, so I'm going to just tank the Malphite ult. I know Vlad's coming near top, but at this point, I really don't care. Going to pick up the Malphite kill and be on my way. 3.4k gold in my pocket. I see the Krugs are about to spawn, so I figure why not stall, wait for them for a second. I have blue smite, so I, if Nihilus shows up, I can just jump into a bush, call it good. Rom and Nyla both go to the bot, or sorry, to the mid. And we see Graves on the dragon, which is where I expected him, him to be the entire time. Nyla's going to try to steal this for me. She mistimes it. And then my team somehow kills the Graves when he should have been on there the entire time taking it. And my team just secures the dragon that I was content with giving them. Just look at that gold. Going up to 4,000. And then this is the hardest part of uh, being this far ahead. What do you get? Because you can always buy a full death cap here and it's super awesome but i'm gonna do the smart play get shadow flame large rod call it good it would be so much ap but the shadow flame just has so much more value with the flat magic pen which we don't have any in our kit right now and then the extra damage when they're below 40 percent health or is it 35 Oh, I'm checking on my other monitor right now. It just says low health enemies. Oh well. I'm gonna think it's 35, because Coop is 40. End up wasting my ghost there. My Vayne gets caught out, but I immediately see the grave spot, so I know, okay, this ghost was wasted mid. It cannot be wasted bot too. Graves is gonna flash, alt, Yomu's, and just my slow. Is just too much for him. We end up seeing Vlad, we end up seeing Nyla, so I auto her to try to escape, to jump the wall, auto this to speed up my ECD, but I unfortunately cannot get away from Ghosted Vladimir. Even if I didn't misclick the first auto attack, I just can't get away from that, so. Minus five Dark Seal stacks. They get a shutdown. Not ideal, but not the worst thing. Because again, it did not go to Nyla. I'm still worried about this Nyla. As crazy as it sounds, just this champion invalidates Gwen. If you see Gwen on the enemy team and you're like, oh, what do I do? I'm the ADC. I can't really impact to the game. Yes, you can. Just lock in Nyla late game. You are going to dominate her. Baron ends up spawning. I see my team ended up getting the Nyla and the Braum. And me and this ADC are just on the same page. We both know that we just melt this thing. Gwen does so much damage to Baron. Vayne does true damage. It's just super, super nice. We see Malphite farming mid, so we know that they have no idea we're there. Until the Vlad shows up, that immediately... Turns our attention to the Vlad. I miss my needles. We get the kill. I immediately back ping. Because in this season especially, Baron does so much damage. So instead of Baron being an objective, it's more of a reward. So if you can trick the enemy team to come into you on a Baron and just immediately turn get one to two picks and leave, that is how you utilize Baron this season. Because... 
it's very hard for teams to stick to it now. It just does so much extra damage. I end up looking here, thinking I can get a nice little Q poke onto the Braum before he Ws to the Nyla, but he just flashes away, so that's awesome for us. Nyla's two items, still not a threat to me just yet, but once she gets that uh, shield bow, it's very, very hard for me to deal with her. Gonna clear this. <clears throat> I'm holding tab here, and I think to myself, okay, we can go the decap, or we could just invalidate this Vladimir against us for the rest of the lobby. And just pick up a Banshees. We're not getting Banshees to really deny any particular spell. It's good against Malphite Alt for sure, but it's more so for the 50 MR. It's kind of a very poor reasoning to get it. But that is why I got it. It's just to make sure that Vladimir has no way, shape, or form of ever getting a kill on us again. Here I coordinate with my team like, okay, they want to go for this Dragon spawn, so we're going to trade the Baron. And this time, same exact thing. We get it to about half, and we just leave it. Like, we are fully content with this. And then the greatest play is about to happen. Enemy team still thinks we're committed to this Baron, right? They still think, okay, Gwen's around here. They want to start this. They immediately see Pantheon Gwen top, and they realize far too late what's going on. Yasuo is splitting bot. Vayne Nautilus are just messing around with the enemy team. You see Vlad, Braum, Graves trying to run away from my Nautilus. They finally reach Fog of War. My Vayne gets the Nyla. And at that point, it's just far too late. We're just getting their entire base for absolutely free. All because we started a Baron and we jumped off of it. And then I would love to tell you that I end the game right here. I do a beautiful 1v3 outplay. But I just don't have the damage for it right now. I can't. If I had Sork Shoes... Um, I definitely kill the Malphite and the... Who was it? The Vladimir I brought? No, the Graves. It was Mal Malphite and Graves I brought low. I definitely double kill there. I still died to the Vlad regardless. Uh, just not enough damage in my kit just yet. I j I'm just thanking my team. Like, thank you for stalling. Because that Nautilus just started running at Braum, Vlad, and Graves until they got to, like, their Raptor camp, right? And then he pivoted back to go see if they needed help. It's like... Even though Ariasuo played very, very poorly, everyone else on my team knew the knew the, the homework assignment. They knew how to play properly. Pantheon, playing one of his worst matchups, still went somewhat even. And with that, I go to go I go for the dragon just in case, and Pantheon ends the game with ult. Just a beautiful game. I, I love games like these. This is why I love League of Legends. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with the end game stats. Have a good day, night, whatever. Peace out. Good old times. Sweet, simple, and out of control.